Hi, this is Stacey Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Brent Berry from AMD, and we're here to talk about how you can organize all of your PC content on any of the screens in your life. Wow, thanks. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at the AMD Live Explorer, and I guess just to give you an idea of the setup that we have, um, we have a kind of a standard, um, you know, kind of home gateway PC, media PC. And that PC is connected um, to our TV here, and it's hardwired connected. You could connect this, uh, you know, via a an extender or uh, or whatever. But we have ours just hardwired, so we can show you a quick demo. And uh, basically, this is the interface of the AMD Live Explorer. Uh, we have uh, you know bunches of different options. You can go into use the web um, for photos. You can look at your music, photos, and look and look at music. In videos and you can go into TV but we need to log in the um, and you know these are all kind of just standard views um, nothing incredibly new here you know but one of the things about uh, that we're able to do because of the technology we have and because of the software is to go from a really static standard view and change into more of a carousel three-dimensional accelerated view um, so you can actually watch content as it's uh, you can watch uh, up to nine different HD videos. You can see them streaming to make it a little bit easier to find the content that you really want to watch. You know, sometimes when I'm going through uh, all the different episodes I have, you know, for example, The Office, sometimes it's nice to get a cue of, you know, which one I've seen, which one I haven't. Um, so you can also then just take that video, uh, you can throw it into your full, uh, full screen if you want to. Um, so you can watch it, you can pull it out of your full screen. Uh, throw it over to another side of the uh, uh, another side of the screen. Also, so for example, if I'm watching, you know, uh, HDNet and a nice uh, uh, Earth program or whatever, and I suddenly want to, uh, you know, either make a comment about it on my Facebook or I want to get some information on the internet or Wikipedia about uh, what this thing is, I can very quickly jump off on my TV away from the video and into. Um, and into a, uh, a web page to go ahead and browse what I want to. Also, at the same time while I'm watching, I could be looking at my, uh, I could be looking at my photos, uh, you know, searching through photos, looking at different things, looking at uh, you know the music that I have, looking at. Now you're going to get Brent Berry of the San Antonio Spurs. Nice. The um, that's not me. The. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, basically we just wanted to be able to give the ability to, to have people to have a better experience um, with their digital media, to be, have it be more interactive, uh, more interesting uh, than just kind of the standard. And why is this kind of becoming more relevant to people and more important? Well, it's, I think it's more relevant these days um, because, you know, not only do we have a lot of digital content that we have uh, coming to us, uh, people collecting more and more digital content, um, with downloads or by capturing TV streams. Uh, but this gives us the ability to organize it. Uh, but also we find that, you know, less and less people are just doing one thing at a time. So, for example, when you do want to watch your, your favorite uh, episode of whatever show or movie on your big screen TV, uh, a lot of people are also um, today tend to be doing stuff on their laptop at the same time. This kind of gives you the ability to integrate those two experiences into one uh, more uh, effective interface. And how many people do you think are enjoying this sort of thing now, or is this kind of television of the future? Uh, this is really television of today. You know, a lot of these kinds of technologies uh, really just need people to uh, people just need to grab them and be able to use them. Uh, it's all stuff that's that's here for today. None of none of the stuff that we're showing is uh, you know is anything magic or anything that's you know next generation technology. It's all been here today. Uh, I think we've. <clears throat> We've had the Andy Live Explorer out for about a year now. Okay, and so I'm just going to go pick up a Microsoft Microsoft Vista. Is this what this is running on, or is this a special media PC? Or uh, this one, I believe, is a Vista PC, mm -hmm. um, but this will run on uh, on any of the Media Center PCs. Uh, and really, the the software is freely downloadable. Uh, all the software that we offer is uh, is free to download. And there's lots of also little applications that we have. Uh, that I won't go into all of them that, um, that can help you, uh, you know, nice free apps that can help you organize your digital media as well. Um, and this is freely downloadable for anybody that has a, you know, an AMD PC. And it means you can get, you know, kicked off and started right away with your digital media. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome.